Hey everyone, welcome to the Return of the Jedi episode of Shelf Series. Return of the Jedi features very heavily in my collection. I've got this Jabba Deus as the centerpiece of my shelf here, and we have gotten a significant number of Return of the Jedi figures in the Black Series in the new Galaxy packaging, especially compared to films like Revenge of the Sith, for which we have zero. And I do have a lot of customs from this film, mostly from Jabba's Palace, and so I'm going to actually save a lot of these for a dedicated Jabba's Palace Shelf Series video which will probably come next but for today we're just going to focus on the main characters in this film starting with Emperor Palpatine we've got the black series and the figure arts Emperor Palpatine sets here I compared these two on my channel if you'd like to go see a more in-depth review, but for this video we're going to use the figure arts Palpatine here. He comes with his royal guards that come in full sculpted plastic, there is no articulation here, although I think they do look really nice on the shelf. They are a little bit short, but I think they will be fine. We don't have room for his throne as much as I love this thing. We're gonna have the standing version of him. Here he is compared to the Black Series 1 once again, but we are going to use the one on the right. I like being consistent on my shelves as much as possible, so in this case the sculpted plastic just feels a little bit more cohesive for the rest of the figures that we will be displaying on this shelf. And I've got some Darth Vaders to compare here. This is the Empire Strikes Back one from the Black series, but then I also have the Mafex Rogue One Darth Vader. I got this recently, and I just think it really overall looks so much better. I like the wired cape, I like the sculpted plastic robes on the inside and I don't know I just think something about this feels a little bit better and I know it's not the accurate Return of the Jedi look for Vader but I'm not too concerned with that I'm gonna stick him right here next to the Emperor I've been trying to find a way to display this next figure for a while, so I designed this little hexagon stand that holds him upright. It is 3D printed and it fits in perfectly with the rest of this hexagon system. All of the STL files to print these if you have a 3D printer are available on my website which is linked below in the description. Next we have the Gamorrean Guard, which often tops many people's top 10 lists of all-time best Black Series figures. This probably came out 4 or 5 years ago, it has aged so well. He comes with this nice little furry skirt here, and he also has an opening and closing mouth. He comes with several weapons as well, which you can use to mix and match different variations on your shelf if you want to get more than one of him. Overall excellent figure. And we'll make a little bit more room for some Jabba's Palace figures on this shelf before we do a dedicated video later on. This Princess Leia Bush figure, we do have her releasing again soon in the archive line with an updated face print that is going to look way better. But for now we'll stick her over here and we'll add to this little Jabba's Palace section with Bib Fortuna. I did a little bit of custom weathering and dry brushing on him just to kind of make those metal details on his clothes look a little bit more metallic. Now, this C3 pin R2D2 2 pack from Mafex is half terrible and half great. I love the sculpt on R2D2 and the scale compared to Black Series, but the C3PO figure just falls apart. Literally, I've just had him on the shelf and his arm will fall off or his leg will just pop off out of the box. I do love the drink tray that R2 comes with, as well as this little dispenser that uh, plugs into the top of his head, just like we see in the film. So this is the Jabba Sail Barge appearance that I think is very significant to Return of the Jedi, and so we're going to put him right here in the front. And then we're going to move on to a very popular character. In a recent video, I covered the Mafex, Figure Arts, and Black Series Return of the Jedi Boba Fetts. For this one, we will use the Mafex. Go check out that video if you want to see these compared in more detail. But we're going to stick him right here by Han Solo in Carbonite. I think these two figures always look great together. They were released in the Black Series as a two-pack initially. I'm going to break my rule and have a custom Jabba's Palace figure that I made. This is from the Skiff Guard Lando body, and then just a Nikto head that I found online and painted up. It was a pretty easy paint job. He's all one color and then a couple dots for the eyes. Hard to mess this one up, but he's going to go right here at the top, kind of completing the Jabba's Palace area. And then technically Luke showed up in Jabba's Palace in this outfit, but this is actually the Mandalorian Season 2 Luke figure from Figuarts, but I think this is a great likeness to Mark Hamill, and it's very very close to his Return of the Jedi appearance, more so than it is to his Mandalorian appearance. So he's gonna go right here next to the Emperor, if I can <laughs> I always start from the back and move forward when setting up these stands. But we'll get him squeezed in right there. 
I'm not crazy about this next figure as a figure, but the character definitely needs to be on our Return of the Jedi display. There's that scene where he gets so tired of Luke asking questions that he simply dies, and we'll put this little snake accessory here that wasn't really featured too much in the film, but has been kind of a staple of Yoda action figures for the past 40 years. Now I want to show you some customs that I made from the Heroes of Endor set. I used the Cal Kestis poncho on this, along with the original belt that Luke is wearing. I didn't like how oversized the ponchos, the soft goods ones that came with these figures were, so I replaced these here, and I think they just look a little bit more appropriate. I don't have room for another Luke on this shelf though, but we do have room for another Leia. This is the Jin Erso poncho. It's a little puffy, I love the way the back looks, but we'll go ahead and stick her on the shelf right here, and we'll start a little Endor section. And then we've got Han Solo, these are Tobias Beckett's arms, and then a Joker action figure for the poncho, and then I used an airbrush to do the camo effect on the back, and Frederick's figures gave me the idea for those, so I appreciate that, Frederick. And I love the way that Han and Luke turned out. I'm not too crazy about the Leia, but I still think it's an improvement over the soft goods that she came with because they were just so oversized. The Scout Trooper is one of my favorite trooper designs in all of Star Wars, especially the original trilogy, but this figure is just pretty old and doesn't really stand up great. I have a few of them, they all have the same issues. It'd be cool to see a refresh of that Scout Trooper on a new body or a new sculpt. This Admiral Akbar is one of the newer sculpts uh, from a couple years ago, kicking off the Return of the Jedi line in the Black Series Galaxy packaging. And this figure is just so good, it does not need to be that good. He does have a little bit of trouble, I don't think he can turn his neck because of that mouth opening feature he has. But I do love Aliens in the Black series, and sometimes I even make my own, like this Nine Numb figure. This is a Rose Tico body painted red with a General Leia vest. Painted black, obviously, and an X-Wing Luke helmet. I don't remember where I got the head, but it was 3D printed, and then I painted it up myself. I need to probably revisit this someday. I'm not too crazy about my paint job, but for now, he's going to sit right here next to Akbar on the shelf. And he definitely needs his co-pilot, General Lando Calrissian. Unfortunately, General Lando Calrissian will always be associated with peg warming. This figure sat on shelves for about a year, it feels like. There were, he was just everywhere. If you go to Disneyland, the shelves are just filled with him. This is a custom cape by OT Customs, but I overall think that the figure is actually really good, and I've used him for a lot of customs because you can find him pretty cheap. I don't have any room on my shelf for this Ewok Village Leia, but I did make some Ewok customs, and I definitely want to showcase a couple of these. So I'm going to put the first one right here. This is the Paplu body, just repainted. And then I have this low gray custom with a couple casted parts from Two Sons Casting, who have unfortunately just shut their doors and are no longer making custom parts. I really love this speeder bike from the Black Series. I don't have room for it here since I'm doing just figures today, but this is one of those things that I feel like if I had seen this with the Scout Trooper in store, I would have picked it up even if I wasn't collecting Black Series at the time. It seems like just something so cool to have on your desk. Now we do have a lot of Return of the Jedi goodness coming with the Jabba's Palace shelf series video that will be coming soon, but for now we're going to stick one of these retro logo pins from Entertainment Earth right here in the middle of the display. I just wanted to say a thank you to all of my channel members. If you guys haven't joined up yet, it is $2 a month. You get to see my videos a day or two early, and you get special name badges next to your name, as well as special emojis to use in the chat and in comments. If that's not an option for you right now, you can also help me out by giving this video a like, or click that subscribe button if you want to see the upcoming shelf series videos as soon as they come out. I'm going to skip the wish list this time because I just covered that in another video, and I'll have that linked at the end here along with my Boba Fett comparison video and the Emperor Palpatine comparison video. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.